was an explosion outside the state capitol today. Officials found a suspicious device inside a vehicle. Now, the driver is now in custody. He parked his car across lanes of traffic this afternoon, and then he held police in a standoff. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. It happened along L Street near 10th, and officials closed off the street for several blocks and evacuated nearby businesses. We begin our team coverage tonight with CBS 13 Steve Large. He was live earlier today as these events unfolded and has the latest for us tonight. Steve? L Street is back open after being closed for hours and hours after in the afternoon and the evening hours. You can see the proximity to the Capitol building right here where this all played out. The suspicious vehicle parked blocking traffic right here at this intersection. Also tonight, police are confirming that suspicious device that they detonated was in fact a hoax device. The loud bang from the Sacramento Police Bomb Squad capped a day of chaos outside the Capitol. Yeah, very unusual. As lawmakers worked inside the building, this was the scene on L Street. A suspect surrendering peacefully after hours barricading himself inside a car blocking traffic. This is a picture of the vehicle with messages written on the doors and what appeared to be a tube running from the gas tank to the trunk. It was scary and if it wasn't a car bomb it was something that was made to look like more threatening like it was some kind of a device. Paul Mitchell called 911 and alerted police to the unusual vehicle. He watched the driver as he began blocking traffic honking his horn. As cars would try to go past him he would back up to try to block him or go forward to try to block him. While well, the Sacramento Police Department called in the SWAT team, shut down streets and asked nearby businesses to evacuate, the CHP in charge of protecting the Capitol chose not to evacuate, only closing the L Street entrance to the building. I believe that they went with the determination that we just had a barricaded individual inside a vehicle. Capitol staffers received most of their updates through social media. People were just staying up to date via Twitter, Facebook. After the suspect was detained, a robot searched the car, discovering an object police determined was suspicious. And another live look at the Capitol, the assembly floor. They actually did cut short their business today because of the proximity from the windows to this intersection. Want to reiterate that suspicious device, police now saying it is a hoax device. The suspect is currently being booked at the Sacramento County Jail. Steve, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in downtown Sacramento. Now, the suspect in today's standoff has not officially been identified by police. But the suspect did post pictures on Facebook during the standoff. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Sacramento with what we know about this man. Macy? Well, guys, we believe that his name is Edgar Napoles Rodriguez. I'm outside of an apartment complex on Fulton Avenue where I was actually inside talking to residents and neighbors. I talked to one neighbor who says he lives across the hall from this man, and he described to me what happened last week. He says he wasn't surprised to hear what happened today because the last time he saw this man, the deputies from the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department came to the door. They, he heard yelling, and there was a woman and a man involved, that man, Napoles Rodriguez. He said that the woman left with a packed bag in her hand with those sheriff deputies. Now, there was something else. Uh, the photos that we will show you right now that were posted on Facebook, there were some notes written from police negotiators. One of them reads, I, Officer Hughes, do swear to help Edgar Napoles in search of justice. Edgar will not be arrested for blocking the street, and we will have Edgar talk to his kids. Now, we've learned that his roommate, Carla Garcia, had issued a restraining order against him. Of course, we'll try to give you more of those details a little bit later, but I knocked on her door. No answer, but uh, he is uh, in custody from what we know right now, and we'll, of course, continue to keep you updated. It's an interesting perspective. Macy Jenkins live in Sacramento for us tonight. Macy, thank you. Now, the Senate and the Assembly, as Steve mentioned, they adjourned early today because of the close proximity to where this was all taking place. But people on the north side of the Capitol there said they had no idea what was going on. Many of these lawmakers taking to Twitter to voice their concerns here. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Uh, Jackie Koenig saying legislative staff have not even been notified of this event. Uh, taking a look further at another tweet confirmed from Capitol staff that they have gotten no info whatsoever. Only info is coming from tweets and texts from friends. And last but not least here as we get this one to go for you. We're hoping that it'll 
It'll work with us. Well, it's not going to work at this point, but we will tell you what it says. Assemblyman Mike Gatto uh, tweeted out, we get our info from Twitter just like everyone else. So a lot of frustration here from lawmakers and staff there at the Capitol today. So. And uh, very understandable, we might add, Christina. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that.